what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be talking about something a little different on my channel i know i talked a little bit about what it was like to grow up dark skin i made that video like last year but this time i want to talk about a video that i saw on tiktok and I really resonated with the girl in the video. So I'm gonna show you guys the video and then we're gonna talk about it. So let's just get into it. Here's the clip. This comment threw me off. Cause I'm not narcissistic. I don't think that I'm better than anybody. But do people ever stop to think that maybe that the reason why so many dark skinned women seem or act confident is because we're trying to overcompensate for the way that people treat us? Like literally, I tell myself that I'm the most beautiful woman that has ever existed, right? But I still don't think that I'm better than anybody. The only reason why I do that is to force myself to believe it. Because I've gone through so much stuff because of my skin complexion, and I still do to this day. I can't go out in public without someone laughing at me. I can't go out in public without somebody mentioning it to, to their friends. So of course, I'm going to call myself beautiful. Of course, in a response to that other person saying, I wish I had your confidence, I'm going to say, that's what happens when you're fine. Because I'm going to force myself to believe it so I don't get a mental breakdown because of people like you. So kiss my ass. Okay, so the comment was dark-skinned women tend to be narcissistic. I'm not sure which video it was that they said that on, but she clearly responded to it. And her response was everything. I feel like it was truthful and it just made a whole lot of sense to me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people. So... I came across this video just scrolling on TikTok and the video was saying, um, well, y'all watch the video. I resonated with her when she said, do people ever stop to think that the reason why dark skinned women may seem confident is because they're trying to overcompensate for how people treat us? That is so true. Like, it's it's crazy how true it is. Like, I have a light-skinned brother, and I asked him, do dark-skinned women tend to be narcissistic to him? And he said, no. He was like, no, not at all. He was like, if anything, it's light-skinned girls that are narcissistic. He was like, when a black, when a woman, a dark-skinned woman, um, I hate when people say black and they mean dark skin. That is, uh, hate that. When I asked him, he said dark skin women typically are like, they have gotten to a place when they are like so confident in themselves. It might come off as narcissistic, but it's not narcissism. It's just simply confidence. And they had to really get to that point. And that, now, I'm not saying this is true for all dark skin women, but some of them we have to build ourselves up like we don't just have that confidence all the time you know so that's what he said and i couldn't agree more because first of all dark-skinned women are like at the bottom of the totem pole in every scenario it's crazy we just don't get enough love we don't get enough credit we just are always thrown to the back. We're like, we're always thrown to the back of everything. And I just felt like, we're always thrown to the back of everything. And I just felt like, I just feel like it's so crazy. Like, people will judge us based on how we carry ourselves. And, we'll, and they'll immediately, immediately say, oh, they think they're all that. Or they think that we think that we're better than them because we act confident like no it's it's not that at all that's the furthest thing from the truth if anything we may feel insecure but we have to build ourselves up in that moment and i think it has to come like over time like we build ourselves up because a lot of people try to tear us down like they they always talking about us they always trying to make us feel like, oh, we shouldn't get in the sun. We don't want to get darker or we're already dark. Like, it just, it's, it's the ignorance. But it's just crazy because as a dark-skinned woman, I, I can't really understand where she was coming from. And she said, 
she said she can't leave out the house without people making fun of her or somebody mentioning to their friends that they're with her and that's just ridiculous people really and i'm not saying this is true for everybody or whatever but there are a lot of people that try to tear us down like as as much as they can they do not like people with dark skin and they let that be known and to experience that and to have experienced that your entire life is tiring it's traumatizing like we just can't catch a break and it's like when we do finally build ourselves up it's like oh you want to call us narcissistic like no, it's simply confidence. And I don't think whoever the woman is, she shouldn't stop being her because you wanna, you think she's being narcissistic. Like, that's your problem, not hers. <laughs> I think that there is so much beauty in dark skin and we don't embrace it enough. And that's where I wanna kind of give you guys some tips on how to embrace your dark skin these are things that i do to embrace my skin color and just have overall confidence in myself um these are going to be practical things that i do um and i just want to share them with you guys so if you are thinking about like man like how can i practice being more confident like I think these things are definitely going to help. Who is hot? Okay. So number one. Uh, number one is, I would say, this is a big thing for me. I don't know about y'all. But I would say, um, and it, it this may seem like, like stuff is on the surface. It's like it's not really going to help you. But... It definitely does help like it does help y'all so try it at home and you'll see a difference you will see a difference so number one is to start doing your makeup if you're not into makeup there's so many videos on youtube where you can start getting into it you can buy drugstore products you don't have to buy all the expensive stuff yet until you you know get a little bit more advanced but I would say start off buying drugstore products, go to beauty supply, get you some um some eyeliner, I get you a pencil, get you lip gloss, get you sometimes sometimes they do have foundation. They have like the LA Pro Girl. That's good to like save your coins if you can. And just get you a cheaper version for now until you really get familiar with, like, how you want to do your makeup. And then you can start investing in more expensive products. But you can start off with the simple stuff, and it will take you a long way. A lot of people do use drugstore products, and they've been doing their makeup, like, forever. But they still just use drugstore products. It works for them. So I would say definitely do it. And just start looking on YouTube. They have so many videos on how to do your makeup, especially for dark skin. They have so many videos for that. If you want to do a glam look or a um, natural look, they have it all. So I would say definitely just get into it, try it, and see how it makes you feel. I'm not saying cake pounds of makeup on your face. I'm not saying that. But I am saying um, it does enhance your look and it just overall to me it makes me feel better so you should try it so next thing is to start paying attention to the way that you dress now it's so easy to throw on leggings and jogging pants and sweatshirts and all of that but i think that if you take a little bit more time and how you dress like even if you're not at your goal weight yet and you really don't like clothes like that, like I'm speaking for me because I'm not at my goal weight yet. And sometimes when I put clothes on, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this don't look right. But I know how I used to look and it just made me so mad. <laughs> so I would say like, even if you're not at your goal weight, it's okay. But still find clothes that 
are appealing to your body that flatter your that are flattering to your body type and you can find you can research first before you even start shopping and find clothes that fit your body type and then just start shopping trying stuff on and then like really just get into like i love for for instance i love shirts and dresses um that have like bell sleeves or like the poofy um shoulders at the top or um some jeans with with the little slits in them or heels just like stuff that stuff that's cute like like just stuff that's cute so get into it get into like find your own style and even if you're not the girly girl type to wear like heels and stuff you can find cute little flats or even cute little gym shoes that you can wear with your with your outfits it's it's always a way to do it so i would say just start getting into it you can look on pinterest and get some inspiration or instagram get some inspiration from other people who are into fashion and just start following their pages so you can stay updated and then just look through their, their pictures and see like how they dress and stuff if it really inspires you you could just take from them and create your own wardrobe so that's number two number three i would say to start taking pictures of yourself i love taking pictures like it's just fun to me like i love um taking my own pictures i really don't like when other people take my pictures but I like taking my own pictures because I feel comfortable with it just myself. And like, I just, I, I use this app called Lens Buddy and it takes my pictures for me. So if you haven't checked that app out, just check it out. I'll link it down below in the description box. But yes, that app is everything because it's like taking your own little mini photo shoot like you don't need anybody to take your pictures all you need is like a place to set your phone up a tripod if you have one or even a window seal if it's high enough and then just start taking your pictures so i love taking pictures i feel like it helps me boost my confidence sometimes even if i don't even post the pictures but I just take them and I save them in my phone. I just feel better. But naturally, when I when you take pictures and you like them, you want to share them. So, but you don't have to. You can always keep them in your your archives. So, yes. And number four, I would say to start saying affirmations and say them directly in the mirror. If you want to believe that you're beautiful, you say, I am beautiful. And when you say it, look yourself in the eyes and look in the mirror and simply say, I am beautiful. Say, I whatever you want to believe that you are, or whatever you want to become, you say it and literally it will begin to manifest in the mirror. Like I tried it before and it works. Like you have to, sometimes you have to say it repeatedly a couple of times but the more you say it the more you'll start to believe it and it's just crazy because i tried this before and like i literally saw my the beauty in myself when i started saying i am beautiful what i was saying was i'm a beautiful black woman and i just kept saying it and saying it until i actually saw it in the mirror and i think i cried because it was just like that was a moment for me because i wasn't believing that i was beautiful but once I started saying that, it was just like I just started to see it. And it was it was a lot. So I would say definitely try affirmations. And lastly, what I want to say is to start following people on social media who inspire you. A couple years ago, I started following dark skinned women. Dark skinned women who are darker than me a little lighter than me and even my same skin complexion but I saw the, the beauty in them and it helped to see the beauty in me so if you are on social media I would say go follow people on Instagram and also look on Pinterest and look for like dark skinned women who inspire you so you can take from them 
what you need to to put into yourself and really like start following those people so you can really just start to see the beauty in them and then it'll start you'll see the beauty in yourself and you'll really like be able to take certain things from them and apply it to yourself so i would say definitely do that um and yes that's really it those are a few things that i do to practice confidence um I know they're like practical things and they may seem like they're on the surface, but that was intentional. I wanted to give you guys some things that are easy to do and things that you can do like right now that can help change the way that you just feel about yourself in general. And they are very practical things, but I think they will definitely help you. They've helped me and... Um, I just, I really wanted to come on here and just give love to my dark skin ladies out there. Like we are worth it and we deserve more. And I feel like we have to treat our, it, start, it all starts with us. So we have to treat ourselves well before we expect anybody to treat us better. So I think that these things will definitely help you if you've been struggling with self-confidence. Um, and I actually want to say one more thing. This is a practical thing that you could do as well. Um, this will help. And and don't get me wrong, the, the things that I'm naming, they can be used by anybody. You don't have to be dark skin. But this is especially for dark skin because I dark skin people, dark skin women, because I feel like we need it the most. So I was dedicating this video to dark skin women how to embrace your dark skin but one more thing that i want to say is to start keeping your word to yourself if you say you're going to do something and you want to do it and it's in your mind to do it don't just let it stay in your mind like actually just do it and that will make you feel more confident about yourself because you'll be keeping your word to yourself and keeping your word to yourself is everything because all you really have is your word. So once you start keeping it to yourself and you actually carry out the things that you want to do, it's going to make you feel confident. You're going to feel accomplished and you're going to feel like you are doing something or contributing to something and making this this world better. Even if it's, even if it's something small, like... It doesn't matter. Just start keeping your word to yourself that when you're going to do something, you do it. And that will also help build your confidence. So don't want to ramble anymore. Just wanted to give you guys some practical things that you could do to boost your self-esteem, your confidence. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it meant a lot to you because I was really it I I filmed this video so many times this is my my final time filming it <laughs> so um I just wanted to make sure I was saying everything that I wanted to say and that I was getting my point across the right way so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again I love you don't forget to please like comment and subscribe to my channel I'm almost at 100 subscribers so please don't forget to do that especially if you enjoy my content if you want to see more please leave some um requests down below in the comments of what you want to see more of and i'll gladly um take those into consideration and start making videos about those things so thank you so much for watching love you guys bye